Good morning, everybody. I hope that、um, today you woke up in good health and you came ready to listen to what God has to say to you and to me. So,、uh, I hope you listen to your teachers also because today we are wrapping up. Today is the last Sunday of the month, and you remember we've been learning since the first Sunday of the month how to pray. Willingly, okay, let's go now. Our question today is when and where should we pray?、Mm, we know how to pray, we know why we, we are to pray.、Uh, we also know what we need to do so that our prayer can be effective. Now, do we know when we can pray or where we can pray? That's what we're going to talk about today. And、uh, we'll look at still the stories of Anna and Jesus, and also we'll look at other people in the Bible who prayed and where they prayed. And now that everybody is listening to me, so I want to ask you turn all your focus onto your teachers, open your ears to listen, and when the teacher asks a question, raise your hand to answer, okay? So, I will be back with you very shortly. You can pray anytime and anywhere. You can pray anytime, whenever you feel like it. Like at school, at home, at church, anywhere. Even at the park. You can pray wherever like, you are. Like, you are. praying is talking to God. So, like, you should pray whenever you are, what, like, wherever you are, no matter what. Like, if you're in a tough situation, pray to God. If you are、um, about to eat, pray to God. If you're, like, just like, you know, like, just walking, you could pray to God. We could, like, pray just ev- anywhere, but, like, it could also be good if we just went into a room, like, a very quiet room, and closed the door so that、um, nobody could disturb us while we're praying. And when we should pray, like we should pray at any time, no matter what. We are able to pray everywhere because no matter where you are, you can pray everywhere. So you can pray in the morning, you can pray in the afternoon, you can pray at night, you can pray when you're eating lunch, breakfast, if you're at school, if you're at work, if you're at home, no matter where you are or when you can do it, you can pray to God. We should pray everywhere because it's good to be praying wherever you go because you never know what's going to happen. Amen. Hello, welcome to the. Uh, uh, Achoo! Sorry, guys. That was. It's, it's getting a little chilly out here, so. I had to sneeze. Hello, today's memory verse is found in John 15, verse 7. And it says, If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish. Is that the whole verse? I can't seem to find the rest. I have to give it to my little friend, my Russian friend. I don't know. Oh, that's not Russia. I'm from Germany. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. John 15, verse 7. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish. And it will be done for you. That was good. This time I want you guys to repeat it with me with a British accent. I want you to enlighten your British accent. Are you ready? If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. That was good. But this time, We need to say it in a German accent, yeah? Yeah. Okay. John 
If you will remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish. <laughs> this is really bad. <laughs> and it will be done for you. Yeah, that was pretty good. Now let's try to do it in a Russian accent. Okay, Russian. Russian. Okay, Russian. I'm Russian. Russian. Uh, John 15, 7. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. Now we're gonna say in a French accent. Are you ready? To enlighten! I need you to enlighten your French accent. I know you have it. And je sais que tu es le français accent. I know you have a French accent in you. If you remain in me, and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. That was terrible. Terrible. I need to redo this with you. This time I need you guys to say it like your real French. Now let's say the verse together. Okay? Okay. John 15, 7. If you remain in me, and my words remain in you. Ask whatever you ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. Ah, uh, ah, uh -uh. and it will be done for you. Ah, uh -uh. and it will be done for you. Ah, uh -uh. and it will be and it will be. Uh, je parle France. And it will be done for you. And it will be done for you, for you. Hey, 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 hey. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you. Hey, what is wrong with me? Si tu, pourquoi tu me donnes ça? If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. This time we're going to say it in an Italian accent. Are you ready to say it in an Italian accent? Okay, are you ready? John 15 7. John 15 7. If you remain in me, my word remain in you. Ask whatever you wish. Ah, I don't know why I'm Russian again. I mixed my accent. And now I'm Italian. I don't know what's going on with me. I need some more pizza. Maybe some pepperoni. Okay, now I'm, I'm, I'm Italian. I'm Italian now. I'm Italian. Okay, let's say the verse together, okay? Uh, get your Italian voice ready. Are you ready? Okay, are you ready? I'm actually part Italian. Did you know? You didn't know, right? I'm part Italian. Okay. You can tell from my olive complexion. Yes, my olive. Hey, I'm, I was back. I was back too. I, was, I, I don't know what's going on with me right now. Um, I don't know what's going on with me right now. Okay, I don't know. I don't. I really don't know. I really don't know what's going on with me right now. Okay, let's just say the verse. Let's say the verse. Okay. John 15 7. If you remain in me, and my words remain in you. Ask whatever you wish, and it would be done for you. Hey, I think that was pretty good. I think that was pretty good. Okay. Are you ready to say this one last time? Okay. I want you guys to say this in your own voice, whatever accent you have. Okay. John 15 7 if you remain in me and my words remain in you ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you okay bye guys have a wonderful week keep on practicing your verse and I'll see you next week welcome back everybody and i'm happy that uh, you are still connected here uh, first of all we talk about uh, prayer prayer is telling god how you feel trusting him to listen to you and also believing that he knows what's best for you so why should we pray why should we pray uh because it's a command god gave us first and it shows our obedience and our dependence to god it also calling uh, our uh it's also aligning our wills to the father's will it helps us grow and stay connected to god prayer changes things 
it uplifts us, it uh, changes the circumstances around us, it invites God into our circumstances, and then it shifts the atmosphere around us, it transforms us, it um, moves mountains, it breaks chains, prayer delivers, so prayer does wonders. So, how can we pray to touch God's heart? If we want to pray, uh, um, Effectively, or we want, we want our prayer to touch God's heart. Faith is the key because it activates God's power. Believe uh, uh, that you, what you prayed, God will answer because you are trusting in God's ability to work beyond what you can understand. See God's will and making His desire yours. Pray with a purpose by letting your prayer reflect God's plan and purpose for your life. So be consistent. Uh, make prayer a regular part of your life and don't stop at just one attempt. You need to keep praying, praying, and praying. Uh, since our, uh, since God looks at our, our heart and not where we are, so it means we can pray everywhere, anytime. The most important thing is to make sure where you are praying is a peaceful place so that you can listen from God. Yes, because prayer is not just talking to God. You talk to God and you listen to Him too. All right. So, uh, the Bible tells us to pray always in time of affliction, in time of distress, uh, and as God put in our heart to pray and also to pray without ceasing. So, there's no restriction on the time of prayer or uh, the the place to pray. We can pray anytime and anywhere. So uh, always look for a reason to pray. Try beginning and ending a day with a prayer. Take the opportunity to pray with somebody. You can call your friend during the week and uh, pray over the phone, or you can meet and pray. Take set some time aside to pray. Uh, don't um, uh, during the day to be alone and communicate with God. So don't wait for the time to be. Um, or the circumstances to uh, become uh, dire before you um, start going on your knees to pray. Make prayer a regular part of your life. So, um, thank you for being connected to other month. And uh, today we are praying with letters H and G. So, bow down, close your eyes, bow your head, we are going to pray. Our Father in heaven, we come before you. Uh, we aim, we ask that you forgive our sins of greed. Uh, grudges, gambling, gossip, hypocrisy, uh, sin, any sin we may have committed uh, unknowingly by ignorance or due to our incredulity. Father God, uh, grace you, Father in heaven, I'm interceding on behalf of these children that you guide these children into becoming giants of faith. I pray that you open their hearts so they will hear your voice. Uh, give the best to live a holy, hospitable, and honest, and a life of integrity before you. Uh, because you created them in your image, Father, uh, they will have hope in their uh, in you. They will honor their parents so they can have good and happy lives. Father God, empower them to be uh, people who will spread your gospel everywhere and anytime for the glory of your name. Uh, Father in heaven, thank you for everything you have already done, uh, what you are doing now, and the future plans you have in store for these children in in the future. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you for being connected again, and I'll see you next month for a new topic. Bye-bye.